Okay, today I want to talk about the best way to chop samples in Reason. And this applies to uh, Reason 11, Reason 10, Reason 9, Reason 8, and I think even Reason 7, but maybe not. Uh, but this is far and away, I think, the best and fastest way to chop samples in Reason. If you know of a better or faster way, let me know in the comments. So um, let me also say there are a lot of different ways you can chop samples in Reason, and I've made a bunch of videos about that. They're going to be in this playlist. And this is the best all-around version, but there are some of the other ways to chop samples have unique uses that can be super powerful. So I'd recommend learning some of the other ways as well because they will let you manipulate samples in different ways. But if all you're interested in is taking different parts of a sample and cutting it up and triggering them at different times, there's no faster or easier way to do it. What do we mean by chopping samples? Well, that's just really a technique where you take an audio file, maybe a sample, maybe part of your own song actually, and you get the ability to select little pieces of it. Basically, you chop up the original sample and instead of just playing it on a loop as you might normally, you know, think of a, a Puff Daddy song where it's just like you take a hit from 1970 and just put it on a loop and rap over it. Instead, you're doing something much more transformative like, um, you know, Jurassic 5 or something where you take little bits, chop it all up, and create sort of a new collage out of little bits of pieces. And so this is going to be the best way to chop samples in Reason, where we take a longer sample, create little points, drop it into Dr. Rex, and then have the ability to trigger those slices individually and kind of remix the song on the fly. So I've just got one of my samples here from Loop Cloud, which is, I think, the best way to run and manage your samples to find them to organize them it's a free utility there's a link down below to get it um, so i've just found this uh, jazzy sample so i'm just going to download it and drag it onto the timeline here and what you'll notice is by definition it's stretched to the time signature of my track and reason. Uh, if I, the song itself tells me that it's 118, the sample, so I could change my track and then it might fit a little better. But what I would recommend doing is stretching it, holding down Alt, oops, let's undo that, make sure that snap is on, and then stretching it so that the sample actually at least lines up on the bars. And this way, when you chop it, it'll, it'll just line up a little better. Okay, so you've got the sample, or you've got the loop, whatever you want to call it. Now all you do is hit slice edit, and Reason will automatically come up with a bunch of slice points, but sometimes it's just too much. You might not want this much detail. It's up to you. You can click on them and delete some, or you can uh, select the pencil tool up here, a W, and add new ones, or you can drag them around to be where you stretch them out, um, alter the sound of any of them. You could even, before you do this, you could, you've got the whole pitch edit here. This is just sort of what I wanted to, this is a, a bit of a distraction from what we came here for, but you could alter the pitch of your um, sample so that it actually sounds a little different than when it started but we'll undo all of that. The main thing we just want to do is learn how to actually chop the sample. And so once you're in slice mode and you have to be in slice mode for this to work, that's the real key here. Right click, hit bounce, hit bounce clip to rex loop. This now creates a rex loop out of it. Now let's create a, if you double click on it, it creates a Dr. Rex. If we open up this Rex and hit Run Loop, it's now running from here. And so how do you chop it? Well, really easy. Uh, Rex actually maps to the keyboard. All of these slices are keyboard. 
So I'm playing my keyboard right now, my piano. Um, or what you can do is just create actually a map here. So all you have to do is start messing around with triggering it, right? So. And, uh, or what you could do is you could copy the loop back to the track, but alter it so that it just plays a little differently than it did originally. We could mess with the envelope, for example. change, transpose the entire thing. Send an LFO to the filter, or to the oscillator. Give that lo-fi vibe, or to the filter. Or like I said, you can just totally randomize the slices. So we could go here, for example, and uh, just sort of, well, we can bounce in place, so, right. Oops, sorry. We'll send it back to the track. Well, we've got this track here. Right, so we've got this here. And what we could do, now that we've got all these slices, is go hit F8 which brings up the toolbar, and we could, instead of doing it this way, we can just um, alter notes, for example. And get some really cool glitchy stuff. Um, this is just altering the notes themselves, but we can also alter the note length. Um, that's probably not helpful here, though, because it's... Um, we could double the tempo just to... So anyway, I think this is far and away the fastest, best way to chop samples in Reason. You can see how once you get into Dr. Rex, there's a lot of interesting new steps you can take with it. And then you can always bounce it back into audio and go all over again. Um, I think it's generally, one thing I'll say is I think part of the reason this doesn't work as well in this instance is because there's too many slices like I was discussing. I think what I would do is probably cut out about half of these, and that will give us a more usable framework. So let's try that again with fewer slice points. Bounce chip clip to Rex loop. Now we've got this one. Yeah, okay, so. Select you. All right, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video on how on the best way to chop samples in Reason. It's really up to your creativity to find the right loop points, to find the right samples, and mix it up but I can't see a better, faster way of just converting audio into choppable, sliceable bits, manipulating them, and creating a cool sound. 
Let me also add actually that you can individually pitch up slices uh, by using the pitch. You can change their relative levels, how long they last. You can reverse individual slices or put a filter on them. You can also have them come out of different outputs or only play every so often. You can pan them. So instead it might... Uh, so there's a lot of a lot of choices here. Have fun with this and as always be sure to like and subscribe and I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know how you like to chop samples in research.